Hey what's up guys, I'm Ken Bonanno and welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with more Red Dead Redemption 2. So in the last video we did a couple of side missions. We went ahead and visited. He was the last gunslinger that we were missing. And then we went ahead and robbed a bank with Karen and Bill and Lenny was also there. <laughs> Sorry, it's been, a, it's been a little bit since uh, I played. But today I think we have a couple of story missions that we can go ahead and play. See what happens. I am very excited. We'll also do a little bit of more thoroughly exploring in the area that we're already in. So yeah, if you guys are ready, I think that we should just go ahead and get started. There we go. <laughs> Where do we start? Oh, it's nighttime. No. <laughs> okay, we had a a mission with Trelawney. Friend in very low places. And we have a mission with... Oh my god. Because of course we do. My favorite person. Um... Alright. Well. First of all, can we jump down from there without dying? <laughs> it's not like we jumped off a cliff in the previous video. By accident. <laughs> oh, we have. Oh, this is the medical wacky. Mr. Smith. Bill. Hey, Arthur. Hmm? Come on. I thought we were friends. How many times do you need to say it? <laughs> How are you? Hey, Lenny. Good work on that bank job. That's good. Loved every minute. There'll Aww. be plenty more where that came from. That Braithwaite job was a lot of work for not enough money. I was just doing what Dutch asked us to. Got a point. He's Come got a point. have a seat, Morgan. We're discussing Lady <gasps> Bloomers. <laughs> Ooh, scandalous. Oh, you Whiskey discuss it. Hails anything, huh, Arthur? <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> hey, Uncle. <laughs> it was so Uncle's random. Uncle's drinking again, and the sky's blue. <laughs> Just taking a break. Well, I reckon break's over. <laughs> Yippers. How are you? Here's him. Oh, there you are. Hey. That Javier? Hey. Charles, sorry. Hi, Charles. You going out hunting again soon? Maybe. Can we come? Well, you let me know. I might join you. Yep. I like your hat. It's fancy. But I actually think majority has gone to bed, so... We're gonna... Very firmly walk around Micah. Uh, let's deep some more. Let's make sure Arthur gets a good night's sleep. Um, we're gonna start with Trelawney's mission because Micah can wait <laughs> for eternity if it was up to me. But um, let's see. There we go. And to anyone who's curious, we shaved off the mustache in the last video. We can finally see Arthur's upper lip. <laughs> Morning, mister. Morning, dear. <gasps> oh, maybe we should get some stew. Lady! Good morning. Hello, ladies. Good morning. Can... If we can? No? Okay, well, we can't for some reason. Let's just get some coffee then, I guess. Okay, there, Sadie. Ah. Morning, off. What was that, Lenny? Right. 
The most got a crush. Are they okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Why? We always got to check, okay, Sadie. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. All right, Arthur. What about you, Abigail? Miss Roberts. Arthur, what are you doing? Move back a bit. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I'm a bit distracted. Sometimes I wonder about you. Miss Jackson. Pearson. My lady. That's the first morning, time. Arthur. Well, if we don't count Molly. But you're literally standing as close to Abigail as I was standing to you. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is okay. Might just be me. I don't know. Well. Um. <clears throat> Why don't you sit, I think? Uh, we can check in on everyone later. Can we sit? Morning to you. Morgan. <laughs> I really wish they'd sometime be a bit more dialogue when they ask us to sit, like... They're literally asking us to join them, but... It's whatever, I guess. Morning. Sean! Morning, Arthur. There he is. Hi there. You're not really not gonna nervy little fella, ain't you? Okay, there we go. Wouldn't you be? Don't cross us, and you'll be fine. Yep, all right, man. I'll see ya. You gonna <laughs> help out around here? Jesus, you never let up, do you? Just do your share, okay? Whatever you say. <gasps> there you are, Arthur. Trelawney. Are you busy, Arthur? I always am, well, but I'll make time. Well. I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of oh? action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. <laughs> well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me... I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. <gasps> because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. I was actually about to say I want to go into Rhodes a little bit later and maybe get a new outfit. See if there's anything interesting we'd you like. You sure seem to have got about around here. Um... You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I think we I need it. I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for oh, disappearing I'm on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing I'd agree that with him pot on of that Confederate one. gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden. Is quite a fellow. 
very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, Careful. I see. All right. Yeah. About the whole Braithway and the Grace situation, it's um. Sorry, dog is making good noises. Um. It takes one person to open their mouth if they'd seen anything for it to mess everything up, basically. So. I'm also a little bit worried about that. It doesn't seem. I can see that if they end up being successful, it would be awesome. But I. With the luck we've had so far, it just. I have a feeling like it's gonna go south eventually. But, um, I do enjoy like being on both sides. It's, Here we are. it's kind of fun. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Whenever you're ready. Here we go. Go to Trelawney. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Okay. So we're not going to walk in together or... Been. Dandy! And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. To My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They I'm just gonna look are. the window of here. <laughs> Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The whip this of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. That's my cue. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, nope. this That's is it. perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, Ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> fancy, fancy men. Coach coming south down the river road. Uh, through silt water strand, bubble and strong box passenger in is the very worthy Mrs. Chess Damsey, aspiring but appalling opera, opera singer. Use your imagination. Imagine. <laughs> I don't know where that's from. Is it SpongeBob River or something? Road through silt water strand, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. Or should be from a musical or something. I'm just like, is that SpongeBob? <laughs> well, I'd be surprised. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. 
earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Yeah. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't no. sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All I mean, this trouble. You we have to back to are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Alrighty do. But yeah, we have been back to Strawberry quite a few times. And Here we are. This is the spot. I mean we did do a bounty and all that, so I don't think there's going to be any issue. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, According to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put mm -hmm. on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I goodies. open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. All right, all right. But look at it in the holster. Looks cool. Okay, but how much distance are we talking? Yeah. <laughs> singing. So I'm looking for a mess of surprise. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth.
tuo adagio. Detrito! Bello! I was very scared. Is on the twenty third of this month. I can't say enough. But Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. That was very smooth. Very smooth. Hey there, girl. Also amazing how they didn't think that was a scam. Or a scheme. Yep. Oh, we did it! Good job, guys! <laughs> done, Arthur. Good job, Arthur. He's the one we should be pricing. There we are. Well done, sir! Well done! It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Bye bye. All right. Friends in very low places. Visit uh, for information about coaches carrying valuable cargo. Okay. Oh, my horse is here. Alrighty, do. Um, right. We are quite close, so I'd like to go and see if we could buy like a, a different outfit or something. Get close. Get close. Some new clothes. Really. Yeah. Get Arthur some new clothes. Because um, he he earned it. He's more than earned it. And then we could potentially try and go towards the Greys and see if we could be lucky enough to run into the woman, woman who had been um, challenging us to a race. Because apparently if we win against her two times... Oh, that was something else. Well, really three years ago I lost my leg and I've been hopping ever since. Ain't no fun. It ain't my fault. I walk into battle, achieve glory. Well, hell, this is my glory. I lost a goddamn war. That was lost so my bad. sweetheart, cholera, and my leg to a goddamn cannonball. It ain't no fun. Damn, Nathan. Morning. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. Oh, how's it going? But, uh,. Hey, what you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Well, you better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters too, I think. Uh, so. Uh -oh. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't seem too scared. Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> I bet. What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> well, <laughs> mm -hmm. you better get out of here. <laughs> All right, time to leave. I'm gonna try and keep going, <laughs> even with a dog on my lap. Oh, oh! Hardly touched. Yes, thank you. Sorry. So so. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Stay on my account, mister. I know I ain't the best company. Hmm. Long time no see. Have a look. All for uh, sale. Except the floorboards. Oh my god. Um uh, suppose the catalog. Uh clothing. Ooh, that looks fancy. The Heartlands. Oh, actually, you wanna. No. Oh, there we go. You. 
I mean, that's kind of cute. That's the one we have, the gambler. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, we could go for something like this, but I'm not like entirely sold on it, to be honest. Um, although I do also really like this one. Maybe with a different shirt underneath, underneath, underneath. I don't know what you guys reckon. I mean, we could buy all of them. You know, I like this one the best. Let's go with that. All right. We'll go with that for now and uh... Okay. Take a browse. And there okay. was me with my hopes up. I mean, I did buy something, hey. so Oh, we know his people away. In need of a good story? Thank you for your business. Thank you for your business. <laughs> Newspapers. Uh, okay, let's see what's new. Feud at the bank. Bloody shootout between families. Moonshine trafficking suspected to dead and dying in the streets. Roads. News was received here today of a tremendous escalation of the decades old blood feud between the Greys and the Braithways. Two prominent local families who have been arguing since long before the war, the town of Rhodes and its residents were the true victims in a fight between these powerful families. The recent altercations originated in the Rhodes Har Harbor House which is owned by the Grey family, reports say that moonshine or money was the basis of the argument. Something you want to say? Sorry. Shots rang out and voices screamed and then bullets sadly hushed them. Once prominent families the fortunes of the Greys and Birthways and other once wealthy landowners like them have been on the vein since the war. The plantation families have been at odds since before the war of the states, claiming some mutual theft of gold or property over a century ago, a motive of which nobody can claim reliability to this day. Reports say that the new allocation began when some associates of the Braithways entered the Rhodes Parlor House and offered customers plenty of free, untaxed liquor. How dare they? <laughs> Prisoner escapes. Murderer was set to hang. Score of lawman dead in while shootout. Small mountain town in mourning. Residents of Strawberry in fear. A prisoner set to hang for brutal murder escaped from jail in Strawberry, setting the town on edge after a horrific shootout. The violence erupted in rapid fashion, catching the sheriff and other law enforcement off guard. Tens of lawmen are dead in what is described as the most brazen jailbreak in years. An accomplice surprised lawmen and, and the normally peaceful town erupted in gunfire. The accomplice and prisoner escaped during a massive running shootout. The local doctor was so overwhelmed with the dead and wounded that he was not that he has not been seen in town since. A handkerchief said to be worn by one of the robbers was found in the tracks of their escape with parts of a tooth and other evidence of wounding. However, one official said that so many had been involved in pursuing the duo that it could have been one of the many dead that it belonged to. So was this was when we uh, got Mike out of jail? That's quite a while ago, though. Quincy's statue defiled. Confederate war hero fought bravely at Scarlet Meadows. A dispatch from the St. Denise constable reports that the statue of General Quincy Harris was defaced in a craven act. The hero of the War of Northern Aggression saw the bravest men cut down in front of his eyes at the Battle of Scarlet Meadows in 1864. The word coward appeared on the statue, no doubt placed there by the handful of 
ill-advised citizens who seek to tarnish the name of a general that historians agree was a courageous military man. The battle that day was hectic and a scene of carnage with conflicting accounts soon discredited, and General Harris is remembered as one who never turned coat in the face of adverse adversity. A modern steam marvel, Cornwall orders fastest steamship in the world, accepted to arrive within the week. Industri Indu industrialist and rail magnet, Leviticus Cornwall has ordered delivery of the nation's first turbine-powered steamship, a marvel of engineering from the United Kingdom, first unveiled as an experimental vessel in, in 1894. It was then demonstrated as the fastest ship on water. Now beginning commercial production, the Tur Turbin Turbinia class, as it was the first Christianet. I don't know. Is expected to be a private vessel for Mr. Cornwall, built in his exact uh, specification and including a level of opponents and grandeur not before seen in, on modern sailing vessels. He is so damn rich. Um, Lolman found dead. Henry Jenkins was veteran of force. Officer Henry Jenkins was found dead last Tuesday of a gunshot to the head in what has been described as an ambush that left a veteran office slumped forward in his outhouse near the abode that was that he shared with his wife for 20 years. Jenkins had led an investigation against prominent local bus businessman Angelo Bronte, 55, who reside, resides in a mansion on Flavian Street. Mr. Bronte was long has long been a supporter of local constables and law enforcement and recently appears at social events celebrating St. Denis politicians. Politi polit politicians, yeah. A fifth person slain. Residents of St. Denise are living in fear as the ritualistic deaths from years ago have returned. The pattern is the same teeth marks like those of a hyena or dog on the body of are noticeable. There are messages scrawled next to the body in blood. Some had attributed the death to f yellow fever, but others cite vampires as the cause. St. Denise Lawman announced years ago that they had caught the culprit and indeed did hang Bosco Lopez, who had spent many years living in Argentina before arriving in St. Denise by frigate. Fri frigate? Frigate? I don't know. <laughs> now that the fifth victim has been found, Lawman are expressing caution indicating that all residents should avoid traveling alone in the evening wherever possible and keep all residents without locks barricade overnight. Women are especially advised to show caution as they are more often than not the victims of attacks. My good god. Uh, Lemoyne Raiders now in Texas. Okay. Mm. You guys can pause the video if you'd like to read any of these. I'll probably do it when I edit. Mm. African lion killed. Escape from traveling show. Residents of the heartlands who experienced hysteria laden sightings of an African lion breath. Brief breath of sigh. Uh, relief as the beast was killed at the Emerald Range. The lion was responsible for a spate of livestock killings and the death of a farmhand. It was thought to have escaped from a traveling show called, called Margaret, Mistress of Danger, the world's greatest female animal trainer. Margaret is in fact Haywood Margaret, an Englishman and female stage impersonator. Upset by a dust devil outside roads, the lion escaped. Distressed by the incident and death of his beloved lion, Margaret is believed to be on a packet steamer headed back to England. Oh no! Um, oh. 
coach ambushed. Uh, the art of angeling. So, Catfish. How you doing? Ain't your business, is it? Uh, it'll be okay. huh. Well, well, well. Okay. Some mm. damn. Okay, we need some food, right? Wreckers. Get over here. Let's go, bro. Alright, let's see if we can find her. If we're lucky. I'm not sure though, but we'll give it a go. Person there. Oh. Hi there, folks. Hello. Sorry, I'll just leave. I mean, they seem nice. <laughs> okay. Yep. That's not her, is it? No. I think people told me it was a rare encounter, but we literally ran into her like two videos in a row. <laughs> but um, I bet now that I actually want to meet her, she is going to be nowhere to be found. You know, which is typical. <laughs> Okay, fine. I know this doesn't look good, but I swear I didn't do nothing wrong. You can't stay out of trouble, can you? Just shoot the shackles. One bullet. That's all. <sighs> all right. Yeah. Second God, time's yes. the charm. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought they were never coming off this time. I'd be done without you, that's for sure. I'll owe you till the end. Maybe someday I'll make it up to you. In some way. If I'm ever looking to collect, I'll just hang around the sheriff's office. I'm sure you'll show up sooner <laughs> or later. All right. I was about to say, he sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure we have freed him before. I'm not too sure where she would be. Okay. Oh, look at that over there. No trains, please. It's like a little, um, I don't know, house? Or maybe it used to be like a station since there's tracks here? I'm not sure. And now that the city is uh, being built or... It's pretty established from what we've seen. Maybe they don't need this anymore? It's so loud out here with all the uh, <laughs> the insects and no crocodiles. Wish there'd be like a name or something on the building, or what it used to be or something. But I would assume it's something like that. Hmm. Oh. 
Whoa, I can't wait to go and explore the um, Saint Denise a bit more thoroughly. But we are gonna wait, and I feel like I don't know, I probably explained it so poorly. But the reason I am a bit hesitant sometimes to go and explore is because since the map is so big for example up here we didn't go into the the towns up here we also have a bounty oh yeah probably from valentine i was like why <laughs> um it's because if the game is gonna take us up there eventually and there's so much things we can find i might as well just focus on trying to find as much as possible in the area that we're already in if that makes any sense you know so instead of i might be missing out on a lot of things down here instead of me going up here and then ex starting to explore this thoroughly i might as well just focus on what we already have available available to us you know so it's more that what i've been uh, a bit more um, i wouldn't say concerned about but just thinking about because Obviously, I'm not going to find everything, but if we are going to eventually be up somewhere in this area, then I might as well just save it for that time, you know? So we have something to go and explore, and I don't go there just immediately. Holy There's a little shed over there. Does people live? Someone lived there? Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. Oh boy. Okay, there's Crocs here. There you go. Uh, I'm scared. Um. Okay. 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 They're just small ones. They're not gonna hurt me. Ooh. Don't eat my horse while I'm gone. Oh, the, oh my god, there's so many. Can we go in here? Oh. Don't die. What's that? Predator bait. Nice. So a card here. Jolly Jack Cigarettes, President Alfred McAllister. Found a card set? There's so many card sets, it's ridiculous. Crackers! Oh! Salmon. Someone probably lives here, and I am stealing all his stuff. Um, can't carry more. Alright. Maybe we should like close the things so he doesn't. Oh, hair tonic. Hi. <laughs> oh. Is there anything out here? There's a boat. Row, 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 row. Okay, before I forget. What's that music? 
let's uh, spend the whole time cleaning our guns because. Flaco, that was his name. Flaco Hernandez. I called him something else, I'm sure. Clean it, clean it, clean it. There we go. But we need to be on the horse. Good line. Okay, kinda wanna get out of here first. Stay here, stay here. Is that a dead fish? Can I pick that up? <laughs> I can! What the hell? Uh oh. Horsey? Horsey! Don't leave me here! No, 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 no. We're getting out of here. I hate it. No, stay calm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I don't blame you. I'm scared too. I'm scared too. Get over here. You know what? Don't fail on me now. Oh, she's gone. Got. Get back here. It's not helpful running in the water. Okay, calm Whoa. down. Stay, girl. Okay, I'm coming, and then we're gonna get out of here. Okay, my girl. All right, back to camp because we have a three-star fish for some reason. Somehow. Shit over there as well. Okay. Uh, we are cleaning our guns when we get home. What was that? Hey, you good girl? Oh no. I didn't. S wasn't able to save the other guy. Easy, easy. Sorry about that. Everyone. Oh, 
But at least we saved one. That's what we gotta take away from that situation. Got a fish, got a fish, got a fish. Um, we probably don't need it for crafting. Oh, look at that. But then we will most likely um, That's good. go ahead and just donate it as food. Yeah. Music is so eerie. A bit uh, spooky, almost. Was it because we were close to the greys or something that that music was playing? I don't know. Yeah. Seems like maybe that's a sign, eh? A test, that's all. A test of devotion to our great cause. That went about as well as I'd expect. You think maybe it's a sign? You petty, small-minded fool. You and your kind will be the end of this country. God damn hooded rodents. I'll kill all you bastards. Go, go. Well, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Quick, before he gets into safe territory. <laughs> ah. oh, that's the only one I could <laughs> find. Wait, 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 wait. You saw nothing. It's okay. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, that's somewhat taken care of. Yeah. That. <laughs> Easy. What's happening? 
here. The, the, like, it, just that that's even in the game is just... Crazy to me. There we go. Who's camping here? Yeah. I don't want to start trouble that close to camp. Alright, that's uh, that's something I didn't think I was going to see today. I got some good fish. Okay, it seems like people are headed to bed again. Lenny is going to bed. Grimshaw never sleeps. <laughs> Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. All right, Pierce. The meat is slightly coarse and gritty, but surprisingly tasty. Swamp blurs. I know supplies are low. Hopefully, this will help a bit. Thank you, Arthur. I'm gonna give them a bit of the big game meat. Good morning, Arthur. Oh, it's morning. Well then. More you know. <laughs> How are you doing? Time to have a little breakfast. There we go. <sighs> All right. Miss Jackson. Sorry, Miss Jackson. <laughs> hey there. Morning, Arthur. You seem a bit happier. Yes, I'm feeling good. Okay. Morning, to you. Sean. Morning, Arthur. Hey. There he is. Good to see you. <laughs> Putting the world to rights there? Trying to, Mr. Morgan. No, all right then. Mm -hmm. Charles is always the first one to be dressed, I feel like. <laughs> Morning. Morning. You alright there? I think so. That's good. <gasps> Look at the sky. Morning, Arthur. How my lady. My lady. And how it like reflects on the water. That's so pretty. It's so happy and giddy. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but like one day, I don't know, far out in the future, once I'm done with school and all that. I've always really wanted to go to Japan, but also just visiting like a, a house close to a lake or something. I think it could be cool. Just so cozy. Just something about it. Hey, get up. What's going on? What's going on? Damn it, Arthur. Me... You were awake. Don't test me. <laughs> Billy boy. No, not the horse. Bill. Bill. They look alike, but like, Arthur. come on. <laughs> Don't get too comfortable now. I used to reckon Uncle was the laziest. But you got him beat these days. Oh. Is that meant to be funny? 
You mean you mean one? Just calm down. <laughs> You're a strange fella. I know. I'm sorry. Just wanted. I feel like some of them are fun to antagonize. Just, uh, just a little bit. Um. Just once in a while, okay. We're usually nice to everyone, except for the ass wipe that sits over there. All by himself. And I kinda like on some level that we have a mission with him because then he he just sits by himself and shuts up. He's not interacting with anyone. Seems like a the world seems like a much better place. <laughs> um yeah, okay. Just um a thought. <laughs> Could we get a different shirt, maybe? Would that be better? Oh. No, not with the green vest like that. Since that has a bit more of a... ...brown on the tone. Chaps. Those are fancy. We like those. Okay, let's have those. Uh, pants. Range paints. Fancy paints. Everyday paints. Jeans. Oh. Do we want this vest? We just bought the outfit, so I feel like we kind of. Oh, look at the. Tank, the thingies. <laughs> the thingies, that's what we resorted to call them. Coats. Do we want a coat with this? When do we get this? I like that. That is so cute. Montana coat? I feel like that's for the hot or the cold weather. Um slightly warm do i want him to wear that then we have to change the whole outfit i feel like nothing beats arthur's arthur's gambler's head Nothing beats it. It's the best one. Uh, vest. Okay. Well, let's go for a different vest then. Although... Do we have this in a different color? No? Only this one? That's ugly. The red one, not that one. Uh, what about no vest and just a shirt underneath then? Yeah, I'm not too good at this, am I? No, I'm not liking what where we're going with this. Oh, the rebel! Damn. See, I don't like that either. Okay, let's go with that for now. I wanted to see if we could make like oh cane. Where's Dutch and Molly? They just hit me. I, I haven't seen them. How's it going? I'm surviving. That's good. Behavior. Well, should we just bite the bullet and see what he wants? <sighs> Fine. No, wait. Guns. Well, I can't. Oh. I can't 
can't have guns in the camp. Um, at least I don't know. Can't. Okay. I'll clean them later. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old oh, Mr. Shit, Pearson shit. might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. Oh, there he is. You tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean... I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met Could a couple you of just to him boys. On the road in the town? Properly, please. Things are about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your mind? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get Our shot. lives? Yeah. You're getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. I it's gotta agree with Dutch in this one. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. Mm -hmm. As you say. It's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. God damn it. <laughs> I don't uh, like these. Fine. Mount up then, Morgan. I was Let's way ahead of you. Slowpoke. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now. I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Well, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. No, you wouldn't. I know that Arthur, like in the beginning with Pearson, he was teasing him a bit as well. But Mike is new to the group. It, where are you going? 
Yeah. He was Kino was not having that. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Old Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Should have paid my bounty. Uh, shouldn't I? Maybe he's right, Dutch. Yeah, Mike maybe is new to the group. I have and Arthur's known too hard. Got us into a lot of them for could have been years. I just I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah. Micah he is. Full of shit. <laughs> the fullest Cole one. Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise you. of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth whoa, 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 whoa. believing in. Can't you That's see nice. that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. Mm. Yeah. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. I have such a bad yep. feeling. I don't trust Mike at all. Not one bit. Okay, it's right over here. This is so bad. Oh! Dead animal. Horses. <gasps> that him? Well, Dutch. It is calm. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, I don't know uh, why. how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, it's a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? I knew it. It's too good to be true. <laughs> Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> <anyway. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fucked <laughs> the whole lot of them. <laughs> With this fella Column's right, we can draw them all 
He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got him! I got him! Did I kill you? Oh, not yet! <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Ah! Finally! Put his weapons over there! Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <coughs> How's the wound? I hardly feel it. You will. <coughs> Septic. Ain't oh, Now, tell me. Uh, fine gun like you. Uh, Why are you uh, still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Uh, six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. You can swing on your shackles and reach the metal file. This can be used to pick. Oh, it's gonna suck. Whoa, I don't know what I'm doing. Is it pulling out the bullet? Let me just running the flesh. Yeah, sure, gunpowder. Are you kidding? I know this is how you did it back in the- Oh my goodness. Shoot your hog. I don't want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. 
What the hell? Kill him. Oh, God. We have a... We have... Oh, God. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. It's... A little bit tricky to see them. What's the smartest thing to do here, Cam? In my defense, I don't think we've used throwing knives before, so that was a miss and a miss. <laughs> Let's take them right to us. Oh shit. Oh my god. That was bad. That was really bad. Micah is in deep trouble now. My dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Oh, you're safe now. Uh, that's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Yeah, that's what happens when we have missions with Micah.
I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Look Morgan. That beard. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Gang have replaced your stolen weapons. They are on your saddle. Okay. Good lord. Sorry, I wanted to look at the map. What do we. What you. Got a mission with Bill? Doing terribly on food. Yes, it's because no one's been able to buy anything. Oh, Dutch. Not in the red anymore. Hey, Molly. Good morning. Hey, Mary Beth. Glad to see you back on your feet. A few new scars, but I'll live. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure thing. How are you, Tilly? How are you, more to the point? Feeling better? Yeah, I'll live. Hey, Abigail. How you feeling? Oh, uh, I'll live. Well, I should get back to it. Okay. Okay, let's just go and tell everyone that we will live. <laughs> we'll be fine. Hey, Karen. It's the wounded warrior. You're back in business then? <sighs> I think so. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay then. My boys! John? Oh, finally back on your feet. <laughs> All that crap you gave me after that wolf attack? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess for now, even. Hey, Charles. Good to see you back on your feet. No rest for the wicked. <coughs> Miss Grimshaw? Ah, you're looking much better. I was worried. Yeah, I'm fine. I think we were all worried. Malcolm Foreman. Well, he treated me real bad. He was bad. You know how I slit his throat and ran away? I never felt bad about killing him. I ran back to where my mama was working, but she died. I was falling into trouble. Dutch. Dutch, he found me, saved me, raised me, treated me right, taught me to read. He ain't perfect, but he's the closest I've met in this world. Ain't it so, Arthur? We all loved you, Miss Tilly. Even them of us with cold hearts. You was the sweetest little thing we ever saw, and the saddest.
That is a very sad story, though. I think someone saw some wolves not far away. You should watch yourself. Your time has passed. Get over it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stanley. The castle above the glen. Have we seen that before? I don't think we have. Is this Karen's? <laughs> I just saw Scottish. <laughs> okay, Abigail. Hi, Abigail. Oh, this is long. Javier. Morning, to you. Any new leads? I'm working on it. Uh, that's good. Well, you just let me know. All right, Arthur. We'll see ya. Did we talk to you? It's good to be warm. Sure. So, what do you think, Arthur? Of Dutch's latest plan. You know me, I never did much thinking. Yeah. I know you like to hide behind the angry moron act, but it's a thin enough veneer. If you say so. Time to start thinking, Arthur. Before it's too late. Who's there? How you feeling? Better. Good enough. Alright then. Hey, Sadie. So you didn't get Como Driscoll? <laughs> no. And I'm feeling better, by the way. Okay, I'll catch you later then. <laughs> Only a tiny bit. Hello, Mr. Strauss. Morning, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> okay. What we doing so far south, Arthur? I don't like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. <laughs> You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, miss. You have my word. Whatever it takes. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure. All right. Oh wait, no. I was like, there's something I want to do. Uh, shave. Shave, shave, shave. Oh, Dutch. I haven't talked to you. You stalking me too, Arthur. You getting crazy, Dutch. Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know mm, that. He's getting paranoid. You are starting to unnerve me, friend. I don't, I don't think you want me any more unnerved than I already am. I think I caught you at a bad time. Just don't play games, Arthur. I ain't. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, Arthur. He's getting... He's gonna... Absolutely explode. I feel like the pressure is really getting to him. I don't know what it is, but he is right, I, I don't know how to explain it explain it. It's gonna sh god damn it. <laughs> Hello. <clears throat> Love when I get distracted. I do not like beard. We need to go get a haircut. His hair is quite long. They're fighting. Good 
Good morning. I heard people arguing. Where's the tea? Where's the drama? Hey. Oh well. Hey. What are you working on? Fire arrows. <gasps> Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine, and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. Pretty sure we have My moonshine. Pleasure. Right? Hawk feather? We can see that. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds Thank good. you, Charles. That's awesome. I wasn't even ex expecting that. Was there a prompt on the minimap? I don't know. Kane! Come back. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Such a good dog. The case of a deceitful German. Have you seen this? Chapter 1. London lay enveloped in a thick blanket of fog. It hung like a blanket that has been hung up from a place you hang things from. An ancient but bustling city, the most wonderful and awful place in the entire world, was both pretty and sinister. Like a young girl who tempts a bachelor into marriage or a jewel that tempts a man into murder. These were my thoughts as I sat by doing the things a gentleman does while I... 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 Waiting for an adventure to start at the beginning of a story. And just as our last adventure had ended, so a new adventure was about to begin. I knew I knew it and Aldous Filson knew it. Even our rooms knew it. Or they seemed to, as an expectant air hung about the place, much like the fog, both hanging together like two friends who lived together and ejaculated together in surprise. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Hey there, girl. That's good, girl. Did you get the apple? That's good. Is it glitched? Hello? Maybe we, did we... Yeah, there's a okay, girl. Okay, there we go. That was a bit weird. But okay, we'll take it. Alright. See, we could go into town and... Have we been here? Shady Bell. I think this is where there's like a camp thing with the raiders. Maybe we go and take care of that. It's like a gang hideout. Um, and then we can like, explore that a little bit and then we can see what Bill wants. <laughs> My dog is snoring so loud. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's uh, okay, stop here, and then I can hopefully we clean this one. We can clean it a tiny bit.
No, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Button. One is not really in need. This one we could clean. There we go. that a little bit. There we go. We don't have gun oil to clean this with. Them. Oh, this one is in bad shape. Well, we don't have enough double action anymore. Do not have any more gone or left, but I'm sure we will find plenty. Uh, that was the one we had. There we go. Well, now all I usually don't really switch between these um, that much, and I do know that I can dual wield. I just don't like it. So there's that. But I do know that. So there you go. Now you've seen it. Yep. Alright. Hopefully it'll be fine. There's a camp over here. I see smoke. Easy now. Yeah. That's my girl. That's my girl. Is there someone there? There is. There's a couple. Hey, I'd keep moving if I was you. <laughs> hey, all what right. What did I tell I'll you? I'm for trouble here. Get the hell out of hey, here. Calm down. Maybe you can help us. It ain't like this is going well. Really? Nothing to lose, I suppose. Come on. The truth is, mister, our last batch of shine didn't turn out so good. You think oh. you can help us with locating some ingredients? We could reward you for your troubles. Sure. Why not? You know, wild tobacco might give us the rich, earthy flavor we are looking for. Oh, yeah. I have some with me. Go on, lazy bones. Toss the plants into the batch so we can test it out. No. Oh. Still. Here. Place them in the hatch on the side of the still. Oh, sorry. We go. We're gonna get hammered. All right. I'm gonna give us a taste. Go for it. Mmm. 
Well, ain't so tasty. But dang if I don't get a prickly feeling. Real sharp. Well, that sounds kind of interesting. Why don't we rest up a spell and then whip up another batch later on? We got a rare victual in that chest there. Take it. I'd say you earned it. Nice. Oh, thank, thank you. you. This one? I'll see you two around, I'm sure. See you around. They're nice once they realize there's not really a threat. Yeah, I was very close to just turn around and just run away because they were like, get out of here. But it turned out fine for once. Holly can hear the animal noises in my headphones sometimes. It's just she tries to fall asleep or to lay down on my lap to sleep and there's just not enough space, but it's adorable. And I feel bad for putting her in her... in her bed. When all she wants is just cuddles. <laughs> yeah. But I'm busy playing Red Dead! It should be quite close to the church here. Oops. Oh wait, this is just the... Oh. Okay. That's just the... Okay. Well then. Hmm. That's where we okay. Ran into them. I see. I see. Okay, let me try and go a bit more over here again. Yeah. Yeah. Since I got a little bit spooked by the dark last time. It's just okay. a snake, isn't it? It is. You're okay, girl. There's a lot of snakes here. Okay, so oh, so that was the house that we saw. Oh. 
snake again. <laughs> what is that hole there? I'm not the biggest fan of this area, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, there's so oh my goodness. What is that white thing over there? Can I not? Hello? I don't know if it's a good idea to go over there. If there's a lot of people or not. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. There. Ooh. Sound very scary. See anyone? I'm only skeptical because before we did the mission with Lenny, uh, the Le Moyne Raiders were here. I guess they don't occupy this anymore after that. Rock. Wait, wait, wait. American bullfrog. That's a big boy. I hate frogs. They're scary. Can we... Is there anything worthwhile? This is such a fancy place. I would love to live in a house like this. Obviously, um, not in this state that it's currently in. That's it's outside. Doesn't need to be like fully renovated or anything, but a house with some character. Like, look at that beautiful detail. Can we take the bag? No. Scares me every time. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna find anything of interest. You wanna open the closet? No? There's the big bedrooms. There's the master? Cannot enter, really? That's a bit weird. And it's empty. Very nice. Well, that was a big of a fl bit of a flop. <laughs> what is she? Girl. 
Oh well then. There wasn't really anything too exciting. Uh, so I think we are gonna go and see what Bill wants. And then it will hopefully, yeah, it's gonna take us that way. See if we can find a lady who likes yeah. to to write. Sorry. I didn't see the turn. Yep. Go. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I thought I had time to take a sip. Easy there, girl. Hey, mister. That's there one she is. nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one to catfish Jackson's. Oh, why not? Ready? Let's go. Oh, it said how. Oh. I took you guys' advice that you can press L3 and then your horse will get some stamina back. It's really, really helpful for this. Alright, girl. Don't you dare! Let's go, let's go, let's go, come on. Yeah, you good, girl? We win! <gasps> we did it. I'm surprised I won, honestly. Me too. Don't. Damn horse acting up on me, of all the times. God. Okay. <sighs> good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey, be safe out there. I didn't even get anything for yep. it. Yep. Oh well. I think we need to beat her twice. I think someone mentioned. So we'll see if we run into her again. I was so worried that she was about to hit her horse. Quite mad the first time I saw that happen. Oh, the sun is setting. So pretty. Yeah. Let's see if we can make it to Bill's. I was just thinking it's it's weird to consider that this was like a battlefield or used to be. That's crazy. And scary. You done good, girl. It's your best girl. Tell no Easy. lies. Whoa. It's all yours once you hand me the money. 
wagon to. Fine. Here it is. But we agreed on. Good man. Well, you keep on doing what you do best. You need more? Just come along back. Hey, you ain't seen shit, right? The North will remember us soon enough. I don't know what that was about. I could- I know I could steal the wagon, but... It's just when we're that far away... ...from Emil Range. I just... It's hard to say, but I honestly sometimes can't be bothered because it's... Then... Like the last time I, I did it, got a wagon that I wanted to sell, then... It uh, disappeared because I was away from it for 30 seconds. You're looking real nice today, Bill. Shut up. <laughs> no one told me Micah was here. Not too pleased about that. Okay. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's what the are plan? we doing? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board at their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs> Oh no. Oh my god, it's so bad. The one who's been in it gotten us in a trap. You see like, that window and Sean's skull? Don't talk to me about stuff. Yeah. Right here, not there. Praise my 
might be on to us after all. Now it's sinking in. So much for you. What damn loot? We ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? Can you feel anywhere? Ah, uh, no. Shit. Says who? This is some damn posse the Grays rounded up. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. See that? Those cowards running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town! It's going to hell! Who do you think you are? Bunch of two big thugs from God knows where? You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing! Come out, Sheriff! It's over! We put down far worse than you! A hundred times over! This is the Grays town! Always has been! Always will be! Only Grays I see left around here is you! You want us to come out? We'll come out! Shit! Oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do Damn it. that! You put the gun down, Chef! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Shit! Oh, Sean. He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. Mark ya? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Well, I don't think we can go into roads. For some time. He was like an annoying little brother to me. <sighs> God damn it. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Roads in the surrounding area are now in lockdown. And they will be looking for us. God damn it. Does this say? That needs to speak with you. I am shocked. Very shocked. I did not see that coming at all. Poor Sean.
Okay. Let's go to camp. We might do the Dutch mission. I'm not sure. I just feel like after what just happened that things are, well, starting to take a turn. No shit, but that we might be coming to the end of the chapter. I'm not sh I don't know though, but it, it feels like we're getting there, but there could be more. Yeah, the greys do not like us. It could look like Bray 3 Manor on the Dutch mission. I'm not sure, you guys probably can't, s I'm probably in the way of that, but it could look like it. It could also look like Shady Bell. I'm not sure. Um, Let's just go to camp. <sighs> See how people are doing. Imagine the yeah. it's it's yeah. God damn. Hey partner. Yeah, I'm not in the mood for hey partner right now. So much has happened in this one video. We got abducted, kidnapped. Micah's fault, may I add. Sean died. Micah's fault. I'm gonna blame everything on Micah. I, I honestly, I, I'm, yeah. That's just how Easy. it is. It's his fault. Yeah, people are not happy. Is every everyone except hey, Micah is over there? Brad. Okay. She doing? He does not care at all. We will find more. What now? What now? Arthur. Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Oh, Where's my goddamn son? No. Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. But Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. What where is this is video? Son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him. We will bring him back to you. And we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair Girl, on you better that be boy's furious. head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. Oh, we will. will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch. We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Mike, Bring them all. Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Oh, they have taken the wrong boy. They must have figured out what we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know. But we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. If there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. For Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point no. arguing how all the way around, here. Dutch. This is where we are, and we are going to fix it. So come on. 
I just feel like everything is happening so fast right now. Sean dies. Boom. Jack is taken. Boom. Okay, it's like there's. Right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. And I feel like it's. It would be weird to go and do anything other than. go to the camp and see how everyone is doing but discovering that they did not take a jack like there's no way we're gonna go oh look at the pretty mountains like no. all right everyone dismount and come to me we'll go in on foot from here like i get that the braithways and the grace might have figured stuff out simultaneously they might have First song, now jack. heard things talked we should have stayed out of all of this yeah bit late for that, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at Crazy those sons people. of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Oh my god. Look at this. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? What do you think, <laughs> Jagass? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. We must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Well, we did also help you, didn't we? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Yeah, boys, ready? If you ain't gonna be civilized about this... Let's go, Dutch! Um, I, I... Looting them, I just want their ammo. Get in there! Find Jack! And find that Braithwaite woman! Jack! You in here? Jack! Jack, can you hear me? Jack! Oh shit! Okay, he was. Sorry. He looked confused for a second, so I got confused. Oh. They must be scared then. Can't run. John! Arthur! We'll hold down here! We got more coming in! Arthur, get out there! We got this door covered! There's a rifle over there if you want it! Who needs a rifle? Oh, shit. 
Better. Now, let's find a way into that room. Come on, this must be it. Hello. I can't see a goddamn thing. Can I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> One, two, three. Where's the boy? Well, We've not lived here. in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except fighting. Where Yankees. is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that one, Arthur? Can't do more. I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Is that a head of me? Never liked you. Why'd oh. you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? Likewise. You stole Boys my are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> well, you don't mess with our boy. That's what you get. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back, and we go. 
trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. God Mr. Damn it. Lind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that mm. dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is I well see. hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This oh, we actually crazy. do it now. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot offer. Don't Follow worry. Follow me. I know the way. God damn. So much. I was. <laughs> I was not expecting it's gonna be all right, this at all John. today. What the hell? Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail or at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Get involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? 
We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Can still see the smoke Dutch from the house. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. You're rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Life's changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought I could just leave again and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. And this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. Soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. Every second counts here. Come on. Sorry, I want you guys to finish what your conversation. Lenny found it. Big old run down plantation house. Another gang was holed up there for a while, but. We sent them on their way. Probably moved on to one of their other hideouts, what's left of them. Where we got that dynamite for the bank job. Shouldn't be any trouble. Just need to check it's all clear. Now, where have I heard that before? Oh, we're a bit further up than I thought we were. Well, come on! I thought we were really close, that's why I um, slipped right. down quite a bit. Should be just down this path to the left here. <sighs> yep, there it is. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. I mean, I were here yesterday in the game. <laughs> it's fine. You sure no this one's place here. Is empty? Yep. I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. I've already done this. Don't worry, guys. Oh, shit. Never mind. Still some here. I can see that. Well, you think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. Never mind what I said. Ready. Going in then? Don't I have to? Well, there's a bit. There's a few more things in here than. you pay uh, for every life you took! Come out with your hands up! You can still walk out of here! We're fine, we're fine.
Are we ready? I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some other coward. Like you. Who the hell are you? Bounty hunters. The freedmen. The leader? The carpet beggars. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. You don't get to do that. Nope. How you looking up there? I think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Two seconds. This... wait... The premium... Sika rates... Can I take them now? Is that not a pack? There we go. A cart? Oh, we already have that. That's unfortunate. I am looting. Can't take that. Well, that's not worth it. Oosh. All right. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Sure, they've seen worse, but I see a point. Follow me. Can we? F I know there's crocodiles <laughs> nearby. Please. Right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Yes, please. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going let's go okay i can deal with the rest of the bodies you gonna meet up at the caravan guide them in all right see you soon oh can we see them take up or what <gasps> good job <laughs> <laughs> Gotta pick it up again. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was funny. <laughs> uh, they're all upstairs. That's not really given much, is it? Do we not have any food left? There we go. Pick them up. Can we go out this way? No? Getting some exercise today. I hear them. There is a gator right over there. We got fine living. 
ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. I feel so bad for Molly. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly Dutch. O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, Saint Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. Thought you're being a little bit of a ja jackass. Not I am. Quite. Good I'm work sorry, back but there, Arthur. everything went okay. Few loose ends, nothing major. And John, about what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. Of course. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Oh, it's not, oh. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Pollution. <laughs> Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. It did end up taking us to the city. And we're in chapter f four. Your horse is <gasps> mm. awesome. All right, guys, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead in this part here i gotta say i was not expecting to make it to chapter four today um i do know that we did focus a bit more on the story missions um in this video i just feel like the end of the chapter i know that obviously it's gotta the story gotta progress and all that sorry i need to get my like, but i feel like it was it just <sighs> I know it's probably for shock value, but it was just so sudden, in my opinion. It was, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I, I think I'm just a little bit taken back by, or shocked with everything that happened. Arthur was kidnapped. I don't know, I, someone probably tipped off the Braithway, the Braithways and the Greys told them what had been going on and they found out that way because I cannot really see the well they probably knew something was up anyway but it was just so quick I feel like I don't know I'm just yeah I think we just shocked and poor Sean I don't know how to feel I'm so I really really liked Sean he was so funny and so charismatic just ugh. 
I'm gonna miss him. I really am. It's, it sucks. But yeah, it, it, it just right after that mission, to me, I feel like it would have felt wrong to go anywhere else but back to camp and to check on everyone. I did not expect it to be this whole thing with like where's Jack and everyone being all routed, routed up, rounded up. Um, so, and once I heard where's the boy, I was like, we we can't do anything else than do this mission now because it will feel wrong to know that Jack is missing it and okay let's go up here and explore so but yeah it's it just felt so I don't know if I would say rushed like the end of the chapter it was just boom Sean dies and then boom next mission you go to the Braithways to handle that I don't know it it, it felt a bit weird to me but it has also been quite a long chapter and I was like where is this going? But I did not expect it to end like that and that sudden. Obviously, we are still in the same area. I, I'm just, I, I, I think I just need to process what has just happened like the last, the last hour. And then hopefully I can <laughs> talk or explain myself a bit better in the next video. Because holy hell. My god. Yeah, I guess next video we are exploring Saint Denis. We've obviously been here um, shortly before, so next video I think we're gonna take a lot of time to just go through the place very thoroughly. Not necessarily start any of the what was his name again, Angelo Bronte, and just try and avoid starting any of the missions. But you know me, I might accidentally. Start missions, I'm not supposed to, but yeah, it looks like there's a lot of things available to us. I see there's a clothing store and the hair saloon or hair hairdresser, whatever. So we're definitely checking that out and just the rest of the town, go and explore that and see what we can find. And I'm very, very excited because it looks like it's a city or a town, probably a city that's very much alive and a lot is happening here. So I'm excited to go and explore it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel. I also stream over on Twitch and you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you'd like to support my channel even more, you can check out the links in the description down below. That is all for me for now. So bye and take care.